You open your Looker Studio account for the first time and you don't know what to do. So let me explain you step by step from where to start. Hey, my name is Gala. I am a marketing analyst and the founder of Gailey Reports. On my website, you can find a library with some Looker Studio templates, some of them free, some of them not. These templates for marketing and sales. Also, I have a blog about Google Sheets, Looker Studio, and BigQuery. And you can find a lot of interesting articles. So subscribe to my blog to get emails not often than uh, once per month and receive a free Facebook ads template as a bonus. So <laughs> what is Looker Studio? Probably you already know. So it is BI tool to present data, to present your data. And it's super popular for marketing because the uh, Looker Studio has a lot of free and not free connectors with different marketing tools. So when you open it for the first time, you don't have this list of dashboards. This I have because I work already. What you will have, you will have bottom create. You will have a report data source explore recent. And you have some uh, template gallery where you can start. So this template gallery prepared by Google. So you can find some dashboards that you can start with. You just connect your data source and you can work with them. Probably if you're doing it for the first time, it is nice to open like Google Analytics dashboard. Let's do it and um, start from this. It will be easier for you to understand. So what the difference with uh, Google Sheets or Excel where probably you used to work. Here you can have filters. You can connect your Google Analytics filter because we're talking about Google Analytics dashboard right now, uh, you can change date. And uh, so this tool connect directly to your Google Analytics account and pull data in real time from your Google Analytics account. Data that you have in your GA4, you can have observe here. What's the difference why you cannot use GA4? Of course you can, but in Looker Studio, you can set up dashboards that you need and you have a link uh, that available for you and that you can share with your colleagues. And it will have same uh, tiles, charts uh, that you are interested in. So it's predefined dashboard. And it's in real time that in Google Sheets or Excel, probably you need to copy past data to have it updated. So this is the main purpose of Looker Studio. It is uh, by default, it is free. But there, are, there is a pro version for about $10 per month per user. Pro version has some conversational analytics that uh, is not available for um, in a free version. And you can create automatic slides from your dashboard in the pro version. So you can start with a template or you can create a report, data source or explore. Explore means explore data source. So data source, it is a platform where you pull data. For example, it is GA4 or Google Ads or Facebook Ads or Google Sheets or whatever, like your account where you have data. It's advertising account, CRM system, Shopify, whatever. If you click here, you can see that Google has their own connector, 22, and all of them most of them, they are Google, like J4, Google Ads, Google Sheets, Amazon, and so on. Google connectors, they are free to use, 24. They're free to use, so you will not be charged to using this. What is interesting here, so there is a Looker, if, you're inter if you are enterprise and you use Looker, there is a BigQuery that is a SQL database, so you can connect your data to BigQuery and use BigQuery. If you're a smaller company, you can do the same with Google Sheets. And you can connect MySQL database and so on. And there are partner connectors. You can be build your own if you know how. And if you used to work with API connectors. And there are different partners who provide connectors. So most of them are paid with monthly subscription. For example, Facebook Ads Connector, there is no free way to pull data to Looker Studio, so you have to pay for some companies. This name is Connector Providers. 
I have a separate video about how to choose your connector provider. You can find it and there I talk about this. So first of all, we should know we have data sources and paid and free and we have a dashboard. So let's back. So you can create a data source and you can create a report. We can click create report. When we create a report, it will be empty from empty page. First step that we should do, it is add data to report. So add your data source. We can connect a new one or we can use my data source that I already used. I have a lot here, but let's connect something new. Let's connect Google Analytics. And this is my own website. You will see, or we can connect demo account, but it's fine. I can connect my website. Well, it takes a couple of seconds to connect. And after that, you see this pop-up and you can start to explore data. Several months ago, Looker Studio added a responsive layout. And it should work better on mobile, but for now it is a bit, I think they, it's not perfect. So if you do it for the first time, I recommend you freeform layout and don't use responsive. Again, I have a separate video about responsive layout and what's the exact difference between them. So check this video to, to know. So it sounds really tempting, responsive layout to see your dashboard on mobile, but my recommendation to use freeform for now. And uh, it's automatically create your first table and what we can do with this. First of all, we can go now resources, manage edit data sources. Here we have our connected data source. We connected G4 account. Here, this is our report page where we can create objects. When it is selected, we have this object called table. So this is table properties. So we can set up this table. On the right menu, we have uh, our data source and we can see all fields available in this data source. If we have several data sources, we can see, you can find it there. Also, I have Gem Gemini here because I have a pro version in um, free version, it's not available. And we have filter bar, it is here, so we can do like some quick filters. What else is important? So we have data, we have property, filter, and on the top menu, what is important here, like theme and layout, it's here as well, where we can set up some color scheme and set up size of our page and this stuff we can set up. We can use some theme or we can customize it and select our own colors, fonts, and other stuff. Here uh, we can use also report settings. It's not that you will not need for the first time. So J4, after we created a data source, we can add charts. So here, what is important here, we can add page, we can add data source and chart. For example, this is the chart options that we have here. I prefer to start with scorecards, so we can add scorecards on the top. I will move table. Below we have on properties we have we can set up it. For example, what we can be interested in users. So you just type users and uh, you can see active users and select from here. Or you can type users here and you will see all users related fields in your data sources in this list and you can drag and drop it here. And we see active users. We can uh, use a spark line with date. We can use, but by default, we have 24 days and we can use some styles and set up. Then we can control C, control V, add one more chart and use sessions, session. So we can multiply different charts and change metrics, filters, data range, add comparison and so on. Then we can table, it's a bit more complicated, more complicated object, but the logic is same. So we have data source, we have whatever source medium, something like session source, session source medium. We can set up active users, sessions, add optional, it's a bit more complicated, but you can add optional metrics. Uh, you can have some other setup of this page. So. And this step-by-step, step, you can create your elements and you create your first dashboard 
You can add image if you need, like image normally it is logo or something. Text, you can add title. This is a, a title. You can change size of this title. And this step by step, you create your dashboard and find an answer for questions that you have to data from the business. There are a lot of little moments uh, about optional metrics. There are some filters, blended data to combine two different data sources. But the base is this. You have data source, you have page, you have element, and you already can work with this and start to build your first dashboard. If you want to find more information, subscribe for my channel. I already have a lot of different videos about Looker Studio with specific uh, questions where I answer for these questions. Hope you like it. I think for start, this is a good. If it's not clear, please let me know in the comment and I will try to answer and record more videos for beginners in Looker Studio. If you have other questions about marketing analytics, feel free to ask as well. Don't forget to give up this video, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog to be updated about new things in Looker Studio, some nice formulas for marketing in Google Sheets, how to work with BigQuery and a lot more. <coughs> Thank you for watching this video and bye-bye.